hey everyone welcome back to our channel all about bi uh, in this session i am going to cover something about uh, creating uh, tables automatically in azure sql table using a copy activity this is a quite basic session but still i wanted to uh, touch it upon for the benefit of uh, the people who have doubt in it okay so uh, when we will be going for uh, auto create option in a copy activity that is the first question whenever you have lots of files in your data like storage or azure storage or from on prem you have lots of files and you want to bring it to azure sql table or uh, synapse analytics dedicated pool table okay so this is the uh, use case you want to dump the data that is present in files inside your uh, tables to uh, just kick start with some of your work like uh, you are going to do a research on it or you are going to do some analysis uh, so that you can proceed further in your design okay um, so the starting point should be as your sql database or sql table so you want to have some data in it okay so for uh, in those scenarios we can make use of uh, this option called auto create table so that we do not have to spend time in designing a table however my file is i have to uh, create a table in sql table uh, without minding about the data type or uh, nullability constraints and all okay so this is the agenda so i'll show you my uh, data like storage how it looks like i have a container called demo inside that i have a couple of csv files so my requirement is load part 1 dot csv to part 1 table load part 2 dot csv to part 2 table okay and the schema of these two files are not alike okay part 1 is having six columns and one row part 2 is having two columns and four rows okay so my copy activity should read the uh, data and create a table uh, with the appropriate columns as in your uh, file okay so let me uh, check if i already have a part 1 table and part 2 table so there is no part 1 part 2 table and all we have to be creating it on the fly whenever the pipeline is run okay i'll tell you the uh, design first so uh, the get metadata activity it is bringing me all the items that are present in my demo container and this filter activity is filtering only the files because in my demo container i have a folder as well and i want to ignore it while i create a table or while the for each loop runs so unnecessarily we shouldn't be making for each loop to run right so i'm just filtering out uh, the items whose type is a file okay and then i'm looping through you know, the results given by filter activity which are nothing but the filtered files okay so in the settings if you see filter dot output dot value so this value is nothing but the array of files brought by filter activity inside my for each loop i have a copy activity and source will be a delimited text okay in my data like storage i am going to create a delimited uh, data set pointing to my demo container i am not going to give the directory part or file name part okay and first name can be a header uh, first name is first row is a header let's check that option and then we need not import any schema let's say okay now all right so if you go and check the data set it is all left uh, default except that first row as header is checked and i don't have any schema coming back to the pipeline uh, we need to pass the file name okay so in our case the file name is nothing but the name of the item that is brought by our um, for each loop okay so i'm saying item dot name so this is going to be the file name let it be like this this is all about the source setting sync setting is nothing but i have an azure sql table which expects uh, the table name okay so by default if you leave this portion it will be creating the table in dbo schema okay so by default it will be empty only and when you are going to create a table automatically from a copy activity you have to give a table name so there should be a parameter that expects table name in your sql database data set and then this table name in our case it's going to be coming from the copy activity during runtime so when i go back to copy activity sync setting i'm pointing to the data set which is expecting a table name so i'm passing the table name like this item dot name in that i'm replacing see dot csv with an empty string okay i don't want the table name to be part 1 dot csv part 2 dot part 2 dot csv the table name should be part 1 and part 2 so i am just replacing dot csv portion with an empty string okay that's all we are doing in the table name part and then you have to create an auto create you have to click auto create table option okay this is all 
about the settings that we need to follow and there is no mapping no uh, nothing else is changed okay let me try to run the pipeline it should be creating two tables one is part one and part two with the same column names as your uh, file names in data like storage with all the columns as envircare and nullable okay let's see and in in case if you are going to miss this part right uh, which is nothing but the I, I, I don't want to give a table name it is not going to work because uh, for data factory copy activity it needs a name to automatically create so in what name it would create if you are not providing uh, the table name right so this is mandatory just keep that in mind and then let's see the pipeline is done let's go back to the SQL server and check by default it has created in uh, dbo schema okay in case you want to create it in any other schema make sure the schema is already existing okay as part of your sync right so in case you want to create it in a test schema and you you don't validate it and you don't you run the pipeline right it's going to uh, create that schema for you and then in that schema it will be creating the table automatically so let me check this i gave test in the schema part and it has created a table in the test schema okay if i refresh this we will be having two set of uh, tables tested dot part one test dot part two dbo dot part one dbo dot part two okay the only mandatory thing is the table name okay if you leave the schema name it's going to create in a dbo schema uh, all right and in case your table is already existing and you still say auto create table it's not going to error out it will just move the data okay so that's all i had for this uh, video uh, this this will be useful for the beginners and those who want to uh, uh, do similar use case let me know in case you have a question or comment regarding this thanks a lot for watching keep supporting